GCK Kings Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Welcome to another episode of the GCK Kings Circle, a place where kings, queens, prince, and princesses meet. It's a royal family of young minds seeking to make a difference in their world. I am your host today, Daniel Obiyo. And with me in the studio today is... Oluwadamilola Amao. As usual, today's episode is brought to you by our mentor and convener, Dr. W.F. Kumi. A man who has walked this path and is teaching the world how to walk the path of intentionality. A former university don, a man known for excellence in every physical, spiritual, material, and every part of the world you can ever talk about. A father indeed, a lover of youth, a man who has started with a vision and ran with that vision for over 50 years. There's nobody better to teach you about purpose than this great man. But before then, I would love you to listen to this music by an anointed music minister. You are here Working in this place I worship you Oh, I worship you Cause you are here Working in this place I worship you Oh, I worship you Welcome back! I hope you enjoyed that music So do I! I enjoyed it You know, that movie, There are people that live so significant a life that you can never forget them because they've left a mark in the sand of times. For instance, think about Thomas Edison that gave the world electricity, electric bulb. Think about Abraham Lincoln that gave the world democracy. What about Mary Slenso who stopped the killing of twins? How could they have achieved this? Obviously, it could be nothing else but living a life of purpose. Friends, it's time for us to get to the meat of today's episode. As we listen to Dr. W.F. Kumui, she and teach us how we can move from confusion to clarity, how we can live a purpose-driven life. Relax and enjoy this episode. You see, life, if life is going to have a meaning, it must have purpose. If your life is going to get to the peak, you must drive with a purpose. If your life is going to achieve uh, the highest, you must drive for a purpose. If your talents are going to be made use of in the right way and in the right manner to get to the place the Lord has ordained for you. You must drive with a purpose. If you're going to amount to anything in life, you must drive for a purpose. A life that doesn't have a purpose, a life that is not driving to a goal, a life that doesn't have a peak to attain, that life without purpose will amount to nothing. As I look at people all over the world, young and old, I see people who just lay. They wake up in the morning, they go through the rigmarole, the routine of life, and they do whatever they want to do. Actually, what they did yesterday, they do today, and what they're doing today, they're going to do tomorrow. There's no plan, there's no purpose, there's no progress, and there is no perception of this is where I am going. Number one, there are people who are passive and dead age. They have passive, dead age life. It's like the brain is dead. The mind is dead. The, the, vital, the vital part of the body, they are dead. It's like the feet are dead, the hands are dead, and they are just there, they're passive. 
and there is no goal and there is no desire there is no mountain top they are looking at number one a passive dead age like number two there are people they get to a place they are stuck they don't know to go back they cannot to move forward they cannot and to move sideways they cannot they are just there and I say number two the pinned down life just page pinched down and there's no way they can make any move and there's no way they can make any forward movement because they live in pinch down life number three there are people they make mountains of mole hills what that means is there's a little bulging out of the ground like a little hill they make an himalayas mountain out of that i have a problem i have a challenge all the problems of the world are over me and they drown in their problem number three the problem drowns life they are overwhelmed their tears block their eyesight their mind is totally overwhelmed and they have this understanding in life Yes, I hear what you are saying, preacher. I hear what you are saying, minister. I hear everything that you say, but you know, I am peculiar. I am under the sea of problems, and they live in a problem drowned environment. The Lord will bring you out. He brought Jonah out of the will he brought Jonah out of the depths of the sea today he'll bring you out power that can shatter anything everything disturbing your life all of a sudden that power that shatters every chain and breaks every yoke comes upon your life tonight and a purpose draws from heaven into your heart tonight in Jesus name and then all of a sudden there's a goal there's a purpose there is a path to get to that purpose all of a sudden everything in you wakes up and you say there is a life to live and it's like you are born today it's like you are born again it's like you are born from heaven it's like you are born afresh it's like where is life why have I been sleeping all my life? Now there is a purpose and I am going to live. You will live in Jesus' name. A purpose driven life. After that, passion comes. Passion. That's the fire of heaven in your soul. It burns in your heart. It burns in your spirit. It burns in your bone. And you have a passion dominated life. You wake up in the morning and then you say, there is something to do today that will move me forward. There is something today that I will do. And then I will climb up on the ladder of achievement. Confirmed in your life. Affirmed in your life. Raise up your hands. And then in your heart, understand, you are different from today. You are no more what you used to be. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. I pray the spirit of the conqueror, the spirit of the victor, and the spirit of the achiever will come upon everyone in Jesus' name. The past is forgiven. The past is forgotten. A new day today. A new energy today. A new focus today. I pray the power to be victorious in this generation. Give to everyone in Jesus' name. Victorious. Unstoppable. Let it happen to every life in Jesus' name. Confirm it, O oh Lord. 
In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, I believe you enjoyed it. I believe you also prayed together with him. Personally, I learned something from this episode. That means I learned that I should not live a pinned down life. What did you pick from this episode? I learned that to live a meaningful life, it must have purpose. The question is, what did you learn? A meaningful life must be purpose driven. See you in the next episode. I remain your friend, Daniel Obiyo. And I am Olua Damlola Amon. Be the dream. Be royal. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui would love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms. And don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King's Circle. Be your dream. Be royal.